Oh no. Do today. I know. Okay, we're at the grinding grounds and we're gonna run some tests. I got my gold pickled foul feet and we're gonna grab this new gold horn tender item. I wanna know what the differences are and if they stack. So this is a basic test with the group rune buff on. You can see we get about 7,500 runes. This is a test with no buffs and we get 7,200. In this example, we're using the gold pickled foul foot, which should get us about 9,300 runes. Actually closer to 9,400, 9,375. And in this test, we've let the effects of the gold pickled foul foot wear off, and now we're using the gold horn tender. And this time it nets us over 10,000. So the gold horn tender on its own is better. Here I try to stack the gold pickled foul foot with the gold horn tender, but sadly the results are that the gold pickled foul foot overrides the gold horn tender, thus making them unstackable. But I also wanted to try the festive grease. So here we apply it to this dagger, which enables us to get an additional 25 runes every so often. It's not a major increase and it's just kind of tricky managing the festive grease which also lasts a very short period of time so all in all it's not really worth it it is possible to use your second weapon and still get the buff from the grease being on the dagger which is kind of interesting so you'll see here i actually pull out my sacred relic sword and i'm still getting the 25 rune buff from using the sacred relic sword so that's pretty interesting so with an optimal setup, you could technically get a few more runes out of this, but it's a lot of management, and I don't know if it's ultimately worth it to have to craft so many festive greases, gold horn tenders, and just be micromanaging it all the time. I don't think it's worth it for the small return. I'm just doing a little bit of rune grinding. It's not going to be... This will be the first special episode where I don't outdo the runes that I got in the previous special. I did 10 million, 25 million, 50 million, 100 million, 250 million, and then 500 million. And I'm obviously not going to be out doing that this time because that's such a tall order. And I don't need them because I'm fully maxed out. But I'm getting 50 million just for a nice round number and a little kind of homage to the rune grind. And I'm going to just blow it all on smithing stones and somber smithing stones and glove warts. I don't need much more caffeine, but I will take a small with a half cream. And I want a muffin, like if they've got a fruit explosion or chocolate chip muffin is fine. Even a carrot muffin would be acceptable. Yeah, any muffin. I just feel like a muffin. Yeah. I went with Sarah down to the beach and we took our kayak, took my kayak. I was kayaking around and she was standing on the beach watching me and then I wanted her to do it but she was too shy like she has experience but she just didn't want to embarrass herself in front of people on the beach so she wanted me to go in the kayak with her and we were trying to get both of us in there in a comfortable way and then we finally figured something out where we could both sit in it and we were pushing off from the shore and then the kayak started going too low and getting water in it so it clearly wasn't going to work then I quickly stood up, because we were still shallow enough that I could just stand up, so I, I just stood up out of the kayak so she didn't get too wet. And then this dude on the beach who had his own kayak, he saw us struggling, and he was just like, Hey, do you guys want to borrow my kayak? And we were just like, what the fuck, are you serious? 
he was super friendly and super awesome. And uh, I had my drone with me, so I was like, yo, I'll leave my drone with you as collateral. And he's like, oh, cheers, man. Don't even worry about it, but if you want me to watch your drone, I'll be happy to. And so he just chilled on the beach and we took his kayak. I took his kayak and I gave her my kayak. And then we were able to go on a proper kayak date instead of just paddling around, taking turns on the beach. Yeah, and we went for like an hour and a half down to the White Bridge and up the Humber River underneath the Gardner Expressway. Get to see all the sweet graffiti. I smoked a joint down there. Took some nice pictures. I took a video of her kayaking. Yeah, he was with his girlfriend and they were just drinking beer on the beach and enjoying themselves like they had already had their fun with the kayak for the day. And they were just enjoying beers on the beach. And when we got back to them, we introduced ourselves more properly and they invited us to come sit with them. And they shared a cider with me. Sarah doesn't drink, so she didn't have any. And uh, we exchanged numbers and became friends. And They took some pictures of us. Like, I took whatever pictures I could while we were kayaking, but they took some proper pictures of the two of us, like, in frame fully that I couldn't get from my vantage point. So that was pretty sweet to send me the pictures. I really wanted to take her on a trip up the Humber River like that, but with only one kayak, it wasn't going to be possible. And that guy, that couple, I guess, they made our uh, our date much cuter. So I was happy. Yeah, it was a good weekend. Mountain biking in the Don Valley and then kayaking up the Humber River. I'm glad she's adventurous and likes to do stuff like that with me. I'm at 49 million. So I'll be done pretty soon, and then we'll meet up and uh, do some PvP. We'll try some Colosseum battles, potentially, just for the novelty of it. But also some regular in-game PvP. Bam, 50 million runes exactly. Goodbye for now. Now I shall spend them all on smithing stones. Actually, first, let's upgrade the new weapon that I got. The Great Katana, I think it was. Yeah, the Great Katana. Did you get that from the lake where the dragon was that we fought? Yeah. Large katana with a long, heavy blade, a weapon unique to warriors of the lands of reeds. Designed for aggression, this armament requires the wielder to throw their entire body into swinging it. The slashing attacks of its honed edge incite blood loss. Okay, nice. Skill Overhead Stance, a skill that starts with the blade held high in a ready stance. Execute a normal attack from the stance to step forward and slash downwards, or a strong attack to deliver a series of downward slashes. We also got some new armor. The Horned Warrior Armor, Armor of the Horned Warriors, Keepers of the Tower. The ochre fabric is draped over a chest piece made to resemble the unclothed form of a hero from older times. Also, Horned Warrior Gauntlets, Gauntlets of the Horned Warrior, Keeper of the Tower, made from a thick metal. Might go and fight a bunch of these guys and try to grind out the rest of this outfit real quick. Near the small private altar, there's one guy there. That looks nice though, with just the gauntlets and the chest piece. But yeah, and let's get that new weapon. Great Katana, we'll level this up. Ooh, nice, it's regular smithing stones, not sombers. That's good. Yeah, I guess I'll fully max it. I've got 26 ancient dragon smithing stones. I think I'm gonna have to do a few playthroughs of the DLC to get duplicates of everything. I think I'll probably just blast through three journeys really quickly after I do my first playthrough of the DLC. Journey 7, 8, 9, just blast through, duplicate everything that I need to duplicate and try to get even more Ancient Dragon and Somber Ancient Dragon smithing stones. Try to max out as many weapons as I possibly can. And then I'll move to Journey 10 and stop playing Elden Ring for a long time. It'll just be, I'll just start Journey 10, a fresh, brand new file, and then step away from the game. Yeah, you gotta duplicate the important weapons, maybe some alterations. 
Yeah, remembrances. God damn, that was satisfying. I just spent 18 million runes to get 2,000 of every single type of basic smithing stone. Not somber, but the normal ones. That's as many as you can hold. God damn, the sombers are so much more expensive. Blasting through tens of millions of runes, and I'm only on somber smithing stone 4. Cheers, mate. Chocolate chip. Okay, I'm not going to be able to max out anything beyond four right now, so let's just get... Let's just make sure we have like a hundred of each of these for now. Make sure we have a hundred of each glove wart. Oh, that'd be cool if you could deconstruct the weapon and get your smithing stones back from it. Dismantle. Alright, I'm super stocked up on all of the upgrade materials. I've got at least a hundred of everything and I've maxed out many of them. You can upgrade any weapon, armament, shield, bow, catalyst, or summon that we come across. Many of them to the max. I'm going to try to grind out the rest of this outfit. Also try out this new katana. I haven't really used katanas in this game. That was fun. We got the Horned Warrior armor again. I need the helmet and the leggings. We got a nice parry on his ass. What katana did you try? Is Rivers of Blood a katana? Okay, yeah. Put on our Silver Tear mask for increased item drops. Horned Warrior's sword, nice. I was hoping to get his weapons too. I want to get two of them. Damn, you can't sneak strike with the katana though. I've been hoping there'll be some new rune buff armor to help with grinding, or um, a new a new grind area even that offers more XP than the current area. Even though I'm max level, I'm still gonna do a one billion rune grind one day just for the prestige of it. Nice, there's our duplicate sword, so we can dual wield. Still looking for the mask and leggings. The third sword, fantastic. Not. I'll give you one if you want. Nice, we got the helmet, fuck yeah.
Whoa, we dropped a somber smithing stone nine. That's pretty nuts. I don't know, this katana kinda sucks in terms of fighting this guy anyways. I can barely get two attacks off without getting hit. Can't even. If I try to attack twice in a row, I always just take a hit. Can't combo anything. Yeah, if you get the leggings before I do, I'll trade you. Because I've got some other good stuff from him that I'm going to give you anyways. Do you have your silver scarab on and your silver tear mask? Oh, because if you're level 99 arcane, you don't it doesn't buff it anymore. Okay, so I can put my bandana back on for style. We may not be able to meet at the three path cross again since we beat the dragon in the lake. I don't know. You try it though. Last time I checked, we weren't filing bulls under optional. <laughs> yeah, I'm not seeing your sign. Let's try the. The high road cross. Let's see if Letta has anything to say. Oh, hello. Did you feel it? Nicola Kine's enchantment appears to have broken. But while my devotion to kindly Nicola remains unchanged, by my troth I am not so sure about the others. No, wait. Perhaps this is a blessing in disguise. I can wield my sword to cull the undeserving. Those unfit to bask in tender Nicola's presence. I should have thought of this earlier. Uh-oh, the seeds of distrust are growing. Right. It's time to begin ferreting out. Those of us who don't deserve to be at kindly Nicola's side. Did you talk to Letta again? Tough choice to make here. Suggest the horn scent or make no suggestion. Oh, so you met someone else and you can suggest that person as well. I'm hoping I can defer this by making no suggestion. Okay, it's probably make no suggestion, but I did press circle. Okay, your sign is here though, that's good. I want to at least talk to the horn scent before I suggest anything. Intriguing. What remains there to be said? Do you presume us allies even now? Though Mikola's spell is newly broken, I must profess. The spell mattered little. Uphold his covenant, Mikola shall, and in godhood redeem our rueful clan. Then Marika and vilest Erdtree both will at last be from divinity wrenched. And surely, I... contented I will be. But first, clear resounds the call of vengeance. The Impaler, Mesmer, must pay his due. In vengeance for the flames, my blade I wield. How could I allow myself to forget? Revenge alone assures me peace of mind. He wants to go after Mesmer. Yeah, so the seeds of distrust, dissent amongst the... Mikola Faithful, Letta wants to go after people. All I know is Moore said he'll always be our friend. Alright, let's come over here and uh, make a little trade. First grab those, that's dual horned warrior swords. You can dual wield them. Also I'm going to read the description while I'm at it here. Horned Warrior's Sword, Curved Sword of the Horned Warriors, Keepers of the Tower. The ornamental tangled horns allow the blade to serve as a medium for horn calling. Unique skill horn calling invokes tangled horns to cover the weapon's blades. Drives the weapon into the ground, calling up a cluster of piercing horns. Pleasure doing business with ya. Horned Warrior Greaves, nice. Okay, I got multiple armor, so I'll drop you one of these as well. We got Horned Warrior Greaves, 
Greaves of the Horned Warriors, Keepers of the Tower, shaped to resemble the unclothed form of a hero from older times. And we have the Horned Warrior Helm, helm featuring a crown of sturdy tangled horns, allowing the wearer to invoke divinity. Attire of the Horned Warriors, Keepers of the Tower. Divine invocation bolsters the strength of the wearer, but causes the blessing of the Erd Tree to become nauseating, reducing the restorative effect of drinking from a flask of sacred tears. Focus is also troubled by wearing this helm. The Greaves. Ooh, nice. I like that the Greaves are a two-piece shorts and boots. There's not enough of that. I like that style. I often wear that. We're still a light load as well, so that's good. Recusant 1v1. Nice. I respect that name. Nice. GG. That was fun. I tried to parry him earlier on, but the blood buildup was just not conducive to multiple parry attempts. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not great with this blade either. Not my favorite way to fight, but I made it work. Let's explore down in this river. I never beat this carrion troll on my file yet. Weird, is there no place to crit this guy? Hmm. Larval tier, smithing stone eight. Like I've got a full inventory of smithing stone eights now, so if you can Oh yeah yeah yeah, you can't see it. Here, let me just drop you one then I'll pick that one up. Oh it won't let me leave it. That sucks. Okay, here's like a four belfries area. We got that imbued key or whatever. Use imbued sword key. I'm not going to use it yet, just in case there's other options. Fuck it, I'm just going to do it. But I don't think we'll be able to go together. We come back here later. Yeah. Glint Slab Firefly, that's a new one. 
Brooklyn Stone, Firefly improved by selective breeding material used for crafting items, mainly found near Manus Meter. The glintstone that produces its light has become freakishly enlarged, while the span of its life is as brief as a whisper. Here we go. An invader's coming in, I just saw their name tag. Here we go, Yuri. You can try 1v1ing him. I see him over there, yeah. He's observing the niceties. Oh, maybe up here. It looks like we can climb this. Is he still up there? I'm trying to sneak up on him. I can't see him from my vantage. Oh, he's here. He sees me. Yeah. Oh fuck, there's enemies after me now, god damn it. Are you you're there? Okay. Nice. Watch out for this horseman. Okay, I can sneak strike this guy. Maybe you just couldn't sneak strike that specific enemy. I have to figure out where I'm gonna do the new intro scene. Obviously I wanna have a nice shot of the Shadu tree in the background. Should be on a cliff somewhere with the moon too. Like this is pretty good right here but I want it to be higher up. We can get more of the branches in the boughs of the tree. Church of the Crusade. Oh, I remember coming here with you, but I never came here before. Isn't there a Queeline fight? I think. Thou shalt not yeah. the flame of Mesma. Flame Skewer, Ash of War, Prayer Room Key, nice. Where's the Prayer Room? Scattered Tree Fragment, sick. I'll chop you down. I will. Loveless. Nice. A little Final Fantasy 7 reference. <laughs> no, I was referring to this uh, invader that just joined us. His name is Loveless. Uh oh. Another one. Watch out. Is Shogun coming after you? Okay. 
But he's trying to snipe you from the back. Now he's going after me. Focus on one. They're obviously not going to observe separate 1v1, so we just got to... What the fuck? Got him. Nice. I stopped luring invaders so this guy doesn't get help again. Fuck yeah. Satisfaction and victory is ours. <laughs> yeah, I can get some satisfaction. It was a 2v2, so I didn't want to allow another invader to come in after that. Essentially. Nice a little uh, triangle summoning ward. Yo, let's disband and reconvene. I'm gonna go to the round table hold and upgrade this enemy's weapons and then come back using those. I've had enough of this great katana for now. But we did some good PvP with it. Oh, Griff was here. I didn't even know. Oh well. Okay, nice. I can carry both swords and the shield and still be a light load. These uh, Horned Warrior swords take sombers. I'm not going to max them out. I'll get them to level 9. Now we get the full cosplay in action, though. I spent the weekend mountain biking and other activities with Sarah, and we didn't want to think about cooking, so she cooked up a bunch of food, I cooked up a bunch of food, and I made just a huge batch of fucking awesome fried rice. Some of the best fried rice I've ever made, if not the best. And another huge batch of mac and cheese with uh, shredded carrot, three kinds of cheese, onion, a few other vegetables, bell peppers, tomato. And then I made a big batch of ground beef all fried up. She's vegetarian, so I just added that to my meal, and she didn't have any. But I made that super spicy. I just went nuts with the jalapeno. Then we just had a fridge full of dishes that we could pull out. Elmer, watch out, there's an invader. I don't know where he is. Oh, he's after me, and I also have a knight after me. I'm getting away. Nice.
Well, that shit gives you madness, watch out. You did a good job of running. You're gonna try and flank him. He's trying to get other enemies involved, clearly. Yeah. Backing off. Nice. Fucking bitch. Yeah, we're not getting this fucking thing involved. He does suck. Okay, he's coming back. He's coming back. Watch out. Yeah, totally. Playing Smash and he just got an assist trophy. Oh, and now he's gonna try and lure me back again? Like, what? We're not playing this fucking game, man. Okay, he's healing with magic. Oh no! Do today. I know. Excuse me while I save that clip. How did that not even hit? Fuck off! Yeah, if I was using my golden halberds, that definitely would have one-shot him, or like a critical dagger. Too bad. Yo, is he getting damaged? Nice. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Good to know. Mm. 
Little Wriggler. Yes! <laughs> Finally! Yo, that was awesome. Nice. More satisfaction I can get. <laughs> God damn it. And I got the parry in there, like that was a crazy fight. Oh, I'm definitely featuring that in the episode 350 special. He fought well. He fought extremely well. 2v1 against two experienced players. I saw you attack, but he didn't take damage at first, so I was confused. I thought you missed or whiffed or something, but I guess it was just the attack like you. It's delayed. Probably worth a reflask after that. Fuck it, it's time to take out this flame fire golem. That's definitely big mad. <sighs> no, oh shit. That's not good. I qualify that is not a good thing. <laughs> Holy shit. The fire golem picked me up and put me in the pot, in his pot of fire, and melted me. Damn, this is a serious one. This is the most serious fire golem I've seen. Yeah, all the other ones I fought haven't been so bad. This guy hits you with a lot more projectiles. You guys gonna have the same mask as the 
warrior that I'm cosplaying as. Fuck yeah, and take this sucker down. Crimson burst dried tear. Cool. I'm putting down my invading sign. Hopefully invade someone here. I don't want my invasion summoning sign though, I want the bloody finger, that's what I want. Okay, I was using this weapon wrong. You don't even need to have two of them because one is technically two already and it provides more arts. I've now invaded. Yeah. I'm just in, her, in someone else's world now. Yeah. We came to a truce and bad to each other, and then I returned. Fun little moment. Leo, let's explore this village in more detail. This encampment, since I took down the fire golem, I can go and get the treasure. Drawstring mesmer fire grease, nice. Oh man, god damn it. Well, I got my runes back. With my rune saver on, I died again, but I also got the battlefield. Priest Cookbook or something. Battlefield Priest's Cookbook, Volume 3. A record of crafting techniques left by the devout Battlefield Priest. These keepers of the faith fought bitterly to spread their gospel in the realm of shadow, where there was no earth tree to gaze upon. Acquire the knowledge to craft the following, Golden Vow. Okay. So I'm missing the first two volumes of that. 
and still no ability to craft the tenders, silver or gold yet. Drawstring, mesmer fire grease, solidified knot grease made from a mixture of incendiary materials, craftable item, a short string is attached to this lump. Quickly coats armaments, adding heavy fire damage to attacks, but with a brief effect owing to its small size. Crimson Burst Dried Tear. A crystal tear forms slowly over the ages where the scattered sap of the scattered tree pools deep within the furnace golems. It can be mixed in the flask of wondrous physic. The resulting concoction gradually restores the HP of one's allies over time. Nice. Has no effect on the imbiber. The Prayer Room Key. Iron key with an engraved crest. Opens the door to the prayer room in the house of worship found in the church district of the Shadow Keep. And the Ash of War Flame Skewer. This Ash of War grants an armament, the Flame Art Affinity, and the following skill. Flame Skewer. Skill of Quiline of the Fire Knights. Enwreath armament and flame and assume a low stance before skewering the enemy in a single motion. Strong attack unleashes a follow-up flame attack. Usable on medium and large armaments capable of thrusting. Do you want to try this again, or do you want to see if we can get a lead at a Colosseum battle? Get a bite, rather? Are you sure it's not United Combat? I think... Combat ordeal is no teams. Deep is all lowercase, one word. Any location? Oh yeah! God damn it, I totally chose the wrong fucking weapons. So stupid, fuck. How'd that? What the hell? Got him. Beautiful. Man, I chose Moog Sacred Spears or whatever accidentally instead of my Golden Halberds, and they're not leveled up at all. But somehow I'm still pulling it off. Nice. Nice. You're gonna get Supreme Combatant, probably. First death. Ah, oh, motherfucker. God damn it, I wish I had my halberds. I can't even fucking equip them. I don't have time. Oh, 
Excellent. William and Oathkeeper Yellen. Got him, nice. Yeah. Hoo -hoo boy. <laughs> Yuck. We got them in the fucking respawn lock now. anymore. Oh no. Fuck! I rolled into the fire. I should have just not moved. Nice. Where the hell are my bullets? What the fuck? Damn. We're at the last second, bastard. Oh yeah, we won big time. Two out of two. <laughs> well, we can stop it there. Got some good footage for the episode 350 PvP special. <laughs>